What is that, fucks? Tonight, I have tried my damnedest, but my computer is not letting me download any videos so I can actually do a normal video for you guys. I think my computer or my laptop has finally taken its last breath. I think it's time to light it on fire. What do you know? It finally did it. Look what I got from Walking Dead. Ah, supply drop. That makes me at least a little happy. So, I thought I would stop in and tell you guys I cannot make you a normal video. Because it won't friggin' participate and do what I say. I had to get ready to go to Christmas dinner at my sister-in-law's house tomorrow. No, it's not Christmas yet. So no way I'm going over there for Christmas. Not even for Christmas Eve. Not even now. I hate going to other people's houses like ever. It's boring. It's pretty much because they have a child. Even when the kid's not watching fucking TV, they make you watch fucking Paw Patrol. The second you try to change the channel, that little shit starts yelling. That it's, that it's fucking watching the TV. It could be upstairs. And the second you change the channel and the TV downstairs, it rolls its little ass down the stairs talking about it's watching that. I hate that. There's like five other TVs in the fucking house, but everyone has to be bored. I fucking hate little kids. They have to control everything in the house. Even how bored you are. I may dump the kid down the steps. I'm not sure. Well. Another reason I don't like going to people's houses is they always make me take my shoes off. I hate taking my shoes off at other people's houses. I should be able to keep my shoes on. As long as there's no dog shit on the bottom of them, I think I should be able to keep them on. I don't like having my feet out at other people's houses. It should be my decision. If they want my feet out, I should be able to take my pants off and walk around the house. I say if I should be uncomfortable, I'm going to make them uncomfortable. I think it's a good trade. I also hate going to other people's houses because you have no control over the time you leave. You can't just say, you know what, I'm tired, I'm going to go home. No, because the person who's fucking driving is the only one having fun. Everyone else who's gotten a ride there is bored out of their mind, doesn't want to go in the first place, is completely miserable, and would totally love to leave now. But the one person who's driving is the only one having a goddamn blast and could stay forever. Is even contemplating drinking a whole lot of alcohol and spending the night. And the rest of us are talking about walking home. really hate Christmas. Really, really hate Christmas. Wish I could stay here. I wouldn't have to put pants on. Ever. 
Mm. Excuse me. I burped. I get to stay here with my dogs. Dressed like a fucking dragon. And stay in my little dragon habitat. Peace and quiet. Watching whatever the fuck I want to. Which would be a horror movie. I need to watch something die. Because that's just what the fuck I do. God. The place we're going to. It's my sister-in-law's house. And she's one of those Susie Hillmaker bitches. So it's like, if you eat any of the food and make the tray unpretty, she starts to freak out. It's like, what, what did you think was going to happen if we ate the food? How are we supposed to eat the food neatly so it stays pretty? I still don't want to take my shoes off. That's another thing I don't want to... I don't want to take my shoes off. I really don't want to take my fucking shoes off. But I don't get a say. Ew. Thinking of just bringing my monkey slippers and telling her, yeah, I'll take my shoes off. And then just dumping my shoes on the floor and then pulling out my monkey slippers and putting them on and just strolling right in her house when she says anything i would be like oh well you said you didn't want any shoes coming in from outside these were in my purse no dog shit on them won't ruin your carpet she has this cat also that tries to fucking attack me They had to put this cat on basically Kitty Vicodin or Ritalin or some shit because it would attack. It wouldn't just attack strangers. It attacked me once trying to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night. But it even attacked her. And it's not allowed to sleep in her room because it attacks her. The cat's a fucking nightmare. Not every cat, but a cat like that. I had cat scratch fever a couple times when I was a kid from the cats we had. I used to think it was just a clever song, but it really isn't. It's a bacterial infection from cat scratches because those little bastards are fucking lethal. It's the worst fucking thing I ever had, aside from... Pneumonia. That's all too. But I mean, a like bacterial infection you can never get from an animal. Cat Scratch Fever was a good song. Actual Cat Scratch Fever was bullshit. But I think it's another warning sign that some cats are just not supposed to be indoors that maybe just maybe if demons were on this earth they are in the bodies of cats I want to stay home another thing I hate is when we go to in-laws house and shit like that is because I'm a photographer, I take my camera everywhere. Especially when my family goes places, because I like to take pictures of my family. They immediately assume that you're the photographer. And start telling you what to take pictures of. And after every shot you take, it's like, oh, you make me a copy of that, right? Apparently... You become an employee at every fucking family gathering. I 
I hate that. It's even funnier when people see photos of the family gathering and they're like, were you there? I'm like, yeah. Who the fuck do you think took the picture? <laughs> it's like there's no pictures of you. Nope. I'm the one who took all the photos. Do you think one of these assholes are going to take one of the photos? No. But yeah. Family gatherings really sucks the fun out of photography. I'll tell you what. Every single time. Oh, I want to show you. There's the presents. Yay. And none of them make any ticking noises. I still haven't found a gift that I've been looking for all week. And I am so sick of shopping. And I don't know why people come out in public with their worst attitude and their biggest asshole face on, ready to fight. Do not go to Walmart unless you have like a bulletproof vest on and a gladiator helmet and spear. Because that's where they go to Denny's fight. That is the place. That is the coliseum of Dennis of Denny's fighting. That is where the gladiators go to Denny's fight. <laughs> I mean, the best of the best. Like, they rip out extensions, break off acrylic nails in each other. It is horrible. They throw trucker caps at each other. It is freaking not even cool. One woman threw one of those little tiny baby bottles at another woman. And I'm like... The fuck's your kid gonna do while you stand in these insane, crazy Walmart lines waiting for your shit to get rung up? You just threw away that kid's snack. <laughs> Kills me. You walk around at Denny's and there's all these assholes sitting around in Denny's eating. You're just like, where are you guys going to next so I can avoid it? It's like, I was going to eat here, but I think I'll leave. So you leave and you go shopping. Don't go to Walmart because they're all going there. And good lord, Target is like picked clear. Like I went back to get their like three pound gummy bear. It was it wasn't a bear. It was a it was a unicorn. But I wanted one, like super bad. Like I had one at Easter once that was a bear. And I ate most of it and I got sick. But I think I could dig it again. I think I could do it. I think I could eat the entire unicorn this year. Don't quote me on that, but I think I could do it. Yeah, I could like portion it out this time instead of just digging into the whole thing and just biting that little bastard's head off and just keep eating till I get to the feet. I think if I cut it up into like three big pieces, I think I could eat that unicorn that cherry ass unicorn. I think it could do it. Do 
Just don't try to eat them in one sitting because that's not how that works. It's not. I don't want to leave the house tomorrow. Alright. Let me get ready for bed. I had to get to bed so I can go and be PG or at least PG 13 tomorrow. I read all my comic books, so I have no comic books to read tomorrow. I don't have a book to read. Guess I'm just gonna have to color like an adult. <sighs> they always ask me the dumbest questions of these things. I'll try to be happy tomorrow. I'll attempt it. I said attempt. I didn't say I would. I said attempt. Well, you guys, it's been swell, but the swelling's gone down. Behave. Because I'm not going to. I'm going to be a douchebag tomorrow. I'm going to fall asleep as many places as I possibly can. bring my slippers tomorrow because I'm not taking off my shoes in somebody's house. I'm sick of it. I'm drawing a line in the sand. I don't want to do this. Can't I say I'm allergic? I'm allergic to other people. <laughs> Alright guys. Thank you for listening to me whine. Like, subscribe, share, but if you don't, it's perfectly fine. I'll still be here in front of one of my cameras, talking to myself, as per usual. I'll talk to you guys later. Deuces.